Hi guys, today we are trellising some of our tomato rows and we use the French weave method so we're going to show you how we do that. I got to string up my tomatoes and trellis them and this is the string that I like to use. You can get this at Tractor Supply um, or the hardware store, they should all have these. Um, but this is what I use every year, it works really great. You can reuse it every year, it's that strong. But I like it because it doesn't come apart when it gets wet like the twine does. With the twine, you, you can use it, but when it gets wet, it comes apart and it loosens up and then it's no good. So, you know, the plus with the twine is that you could leave it to decompose on the ground when the season's over, but I wouldn't do that anyway because I have chickens, so I just use this stuff. So how the trellising works is you tie it off and you go kind of like in figure eights in a way, but you're going to weave in and out and then you wrap around that pole three times and then you come back and you go on the opposite side like that. So you see how the string is crossing? That's how we trellis them and you can do as many rows as you want. These will most likely get up to the height of the pole at least and so we'll eventually end up going all the way up with the string. So he's, we do ours section by section, so pole to pole instead of just going one long string all the way down because that's way too much weight for this string and we don't want one of the strings to break and then the whole thing collapse. So we do it section by section and tie it off. So he'll wrap around that pole and then come back around and then he'll um, probably do one more row up so he'll just twine it up or twist it up and then do another line, go all the way down, and then come and twist it around there three times, and then come back around and then tie it off here and cut it. And then he'll start again on this pole and keep going section by section. Just remember when you reach the poles to pull the string tight before you wrap it around. This gladiola is so pretty, it's kind of a more of a fuchsia color than a purple. I like it. Well, Garrett just accidentally tilled over my watermelons that I started right here, that I seed started right here. So I guess I'm going to just do the black oil sunflowers right here because our goats, black oil sunflower seeds are good for goats. So I'm going to grow some for them. I'm just going down the row, weeding the cucumbers, and I just like to, I weed really close up to the plant, like all the ones that are really near the plants, and then I'll come back in with a hula hoe and get the sides. Because I don't want to accidentally nick my plants with a hula hoe. And this is the cucumber row, by the way. See, much better. I saw some fava beans that were ready in here, that were dried up. Ooh, so I want to bust these open. I'm letting all of my bean, my fava beans dry up uh, as dried beans because I want to use them for seed for next year, even though these are perennial. But look at those. Let's open these up and see what they look like. Pods are still a little soft, so I'm sure these still need to dry the rest of the way. 
That's Whitaker crying all the way from the back pen. Pretty cool. Pretty big beans. How did this playpen get so small? Who do you got? Hopper? This is the area where we had the garlic and Garrett divided it up into three rows. So I bought some pepper plants when I was at the store and I'm gonna plant some extra pepper plants in one of these rows. So I'm planting my peppers close together because I like them to shade each other. I just find that they do way better in the summer heat and I've got red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, orange bell peppers, and purple bell peppers. So there are some varieties of bell peppers that you could buy that go through all the stages of colors. So they go from green to yellow to orange to red, but these varieties don't do that. These go from green to the ending color, except for I think the orange will eventually turn red. Really cool fact is the more the bell pepper ripens, the more nutritious it is. So a red bell pepper is actually the most nutritious a bell pepper will ever get. My favorite color or my favorite stage of ripeness is right at orange. That's how I like my peppers. I am so mad. This is what happens when the kids let the chickens out when I tell them not to. During this time of year when stuff starts fruiting out and starts to ripen, I keep my chickens cooped up because normally they free range all day long, but they will eat all my tomatoes like this. So I'm pretty mad. I still have a ton left, um, but this was just totally avoidable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these off. You don't wanna leave them on the plant because you don't want the plant wasting energy on that. Um, but luckily there's lots of flowers left, so I'm not too upset, but I would have really liked to have these tomatoes soon. My goodness. I actually have tons of zinnia seed that I've saved from a couple years ago, but last year I didn't seed save at all. So this year I'm definitely going to be seed saving so that I don't have to buy more zinnias, but I tend to find that I do need to buy them every so often if I want the true colors. I'm densely planting the sunflowers because I don't want them to get too big in this area. See this tomato down here got really top heavy, so I gotta add the third line on there because these are getting really tall. Again, I'm doing the French weave on these and this already has its first row of weave. So I'm doing the second one and then in a couple weeks or in a week or two, maybe I'll do a third one. All right, so I got that top string in. Never looks real pretty at first, but 
it's needed for that added support. And I already need to put in some taller T-posts down at the ends to do the last string, because look at this one. It's pretty tall and it's already got fruit forming, so I want to support that one as best I can. But they look really good. Those are my seeds. Hi, babies. She still won't let me touch her unless I have something to bribe her with. Come down here. Come down here. It's okay. Hi. She let me pet her. You're back. I'm a pretty. I'm a pretty. I'm a Wait a curry, you just want loving, don't you? My sweet babies. My sweet babies. I just love you. My babies. My babies. <laughs> you want me to pet you? You want that hand, don't you? <laughs> Here, you have this hand. You have this hand. <laughs> you sweet babies. You sweet babies. So I just, uh, the breeder that I got um, Whitaker from just messaged me and Whitaker's brother is available. He's younger, or I think he's his twin, I'm not sure. Um, or a half brother possibly, super cute. And he asked me if I wanted him at a really good deal, but I really don't need another buck, so I'm not sure what to do. Hi, pretty. Do you like me now? starting to warm up aren't you <laughs> so um, I told him no right now but I'm probably gonna see if one of my friends might want him because I know everybody loves how sweet Whitaker is so maybe we'll get him a home that's it for this video thanks so much for hanging out with us today and we'll see you tomorrow